We're here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, as operations are underway for the Atlas V Space Base Infrared System GeoFlight 4 launch. A successful launch means uh, an additional asset on orbit to uh, keep our missile warning assets live and, and well for our nation. A successful launch means getting the satellite to orbit in its intended orbit on time and with zero technical problems. The successful launch of the fourth space-based infrared system, or SIBRS, geosynchronous Earth orbit satellite, is a collaboration of years of hard work put in by the combined government and industry team. We are bringing a, a critical, critical capability to this nation and to the warfighter. The SIBRS program delivers timely, reliable, and accurate missile warning and infrared surveillance information to the President of the United States, the Secretary of Defense, combatant commanders, the intelligence community, and other key decision makers. It's the hard work and the successes that have allowed us to tell our children, rest easy, sleep well, sweet dreams tonight. The SIBRS mission is out there working for every one of you every day, every hour of every day, uh, providing a deterrent capability that really makes our adversaries think twice. The capabilities GeoFlight 4 brings to the nation are ushering in a new era of overhead infrared surveillance. GeoFlight 4 will continue to provide global, persistent, and taskable infrared surveillance, enabling the nation and our allies to have increased global situational awareness for years to come. Stand Engineer LC. Go. Proceed with an LP transport to pad. Roger. The Atlas V rocket and mobile launch platform weigh over 2 million pounds. Traveling at a speed of 2 to 3 miles per hour, the rocket will take approximately 20 minutes to make its way a quarter mile to the launch pad. I'm excited to be down here in Florida on a gorgeous day with Sibbers Flight 4 now on the pad. This satellite's launch will, uh, will finish off the baseline constellation for the, for the Sibbers mission. Uh, four geo and uh, two highly elliptical orbit satellites. But the next big milestone for us as a program office is uh, completing the delivery of the ground system. So we uh, successfully delivered what we call our Block 10 ground system. That consolidated our defense support program, our, uh, our geosynchronous satellites, and our highly elliptical orbit satellite operations into one location at the 460th Space Wing. And the Block 20 ground station will automate those features and bring about our capability to detect dim missiles and really provide the capability that U.S. STRATCOM and combatant commanders around the globe need from this system. Status check to proceed with terminal count, Atlas system, propulsion. Go. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Sippers. The Atlas V rocket launches from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, carrying the fourth Sippers geosatellite into orbit. The spacecraft separated from the upper stage approximately 43 minutes after launch. Following separation, the spacecraft began a series of orbital maneuvers to propel it into geosynchronous Earth orbit. The 460th Space Wing at Buckley Air Force Base, Colorado, operates the Sibber system and is now talking with the satellite. Reporting from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, liftoff, I'm Krista Knaus.